I want to get to the solo stuff and, and everything in between, but I, I, I do want to talk a little bit more about Panic at the Disco. What happened with that band as it was? I was a huge fan of Pretty Odd. Loved it. I still listen to it, probably like once a week. Full, full <laughs> album. And then it was just like, uh, we're done. So what are you asking me? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Like, how do you go from making such a great record from the, the four of you to like? I mean, a lot of away? things happened. I think, uh, you know, the the time in between the first and the second album, there was a lot of changes and a lot of uh, growth. You can hear it. Like, yeah. yeah, yeah, and 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 also a lot of confusion. Um, not really knowing what to do next after having such a breakout debut. Right. Um, and I was the oldest one in the band, and I was only 22 years old. So it's crazy. It's kind of, it was it was displacing, but we were we were just trying to have fun. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think that's where Pretty Odd came from is just us really enjoying being around each other and having a good time and writing songs. And uh, but at the same time, it didn't measure up to the same success. Granted, it was a completely different style for the most part and three years had passed and we've all known what happened yeah. within the music industry yeah. as far as sales and uh, things go like that. So I felt like Pretty Odd was pretty ballsy because you have all these kids who are sort of used to this, they're on this track, you know, and you guys come like around the back end with this like completely grown up mature sound. And I feel like it may have the ones who really appreciated it really got it, but the ones who were like, ah, oh, it sucks. Like, I don't, I feel like they didn't give it well, that's, enough. Well, you know, that's what happens when you become so popular with only one album. It doesn't give a lot of people a lot to choose from as far as what they like and don't like. And yeah. I yeah. think there was, there was a, a divide and a confusion whether or not we should follow a certain sound or just kind of go with our gut and in the end we went with our gut because it mm -hmm. was the only thing we really knew how to do um and then after all that happened i just think that we started realizing that we were all in it for different reasons mm -hmm. which was great because you know we were four individuals who all wanted different things but we were able to come together and have right. fun doing it yeah um but as time went on and uh and uh we continued to go further, I think there was just a lot of divide and right. a lot of difference and that eventually pulled us apart. Yeah, so um, the actual divide that pulled you apart, it was almost like, it seems like it was right down the middle. It actually, by numbers, it was. Talk about the way that that split went and, <clears throat> and how it led to the Young Veins. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't down the middle. It, we, all, we all had different opinions and, and we all... Saw, saw eye to eye on a lot of things. Um, but I think that me and Ryan were the most focused songwriters. You know, we spent the most time together writing songs and uh, trying to perfect the craft. So when it came time for album number three, uh, we had already had a bag full of, of demos and were right. kind of leading the way um, in the songwriting department. And, mm -hmm. uh, and you know, I, I don't, I don't really know what happened. We just one thing led to another, and we had disagreements. We stopped playing together as much, and uh, yeah, and it eventually led to led to the demise of Panic as we knew it. Right. So, but then, like the the genesis, I guess, of Young Veins was that exciting for you and Ryan. Yeah, yeah, it was really exciting. Um, you know, we were just so focused on writing. We were so in the groove as far as producing material. And once we, we were so gun ho about getting the songs out, and we already had so many of them done, you know, mm -hmm. which turned out to be the Young Veins record. Um, but like I said before, there was a lot of differences even between me and Ryan that we... we we're working through, and uh, and that kind of came out even more once me and him kind of went in alone and started realizing that me and him wanted different things, right. and we're kind of going down different paths in order to get those things. Yeah, and is that 
did that lead to the hiatus of the band? Yeah, yeah. Um, it's it, we did we put out the record. We right. did a couple tours, and things never really picked up. I'm in Chicago, and he's in LA. Mm -hmm. um, we both kind of are on different pages as far as our personal lives go. Right, and uh, and that's what happened. We we uh, I was home for quite a quite a long time, and I'd started writing these songs for my uh, for myself, not knowing what they were going to be. Um, and as I was writing them, I kind of things were coming out of me, um, explaining the situation I was in as far mm -hmm. as all these emotions in my head about leaving Panic and not knowing whether that was the right move or not and not knowing whether the Young Veins was what I was truly happy doing right. or, or not. And uh, so when it came time uh, to, to release the songs, I just I felt like they were a better fit the, uh, the way I did them. Right. You know, just kind of putting them out there. And, and well, that and now you don't have anyone to, to like get upset with in a band. Like, yeah. It, yeah, you know. exactly. <laughs> it's it, there's you're definitely the only, uh, there's definitely pros and cons. If you're cons. upset, then it might be you. Yeah, there's you know definitely I mean? th there's definitely pros and cons to that. Um, you know, I'm not really sure where I'm going musically. I don't know if the Young Veins will do another record. I don't know if. Uh, and that's the thing. You know, I wanted to say that to the word hiatus. It's like a it's like a, a nice way to say we're temporarily. Bro broken up. Yeah, I mean, it's, it, it's not, nice. It's, it's just not so cut and dry. Exactly. You know, we, if you who, say we, who the we, hell knows what's going to happen? We're breaking year from up. Now. Yeah. No, I want to do that with like with girls that I don't want to date, but I'd still like to have sex with. I'm going to just tell them we're going on hiatus. Keep it friendly. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Don't do a cold breakup. Just be like, we are on hiatus, which means that I can resurrect this whenever I want. You got to find the right girl. I do. I'll let you know how that goes. <laughs> 